My name is Dr. Kavitha Avdhani. I am a specialist ophthalmologist specializing in uveitis and ocular immunology at NMCI Care at New Medical Center Speciality Hospital, Abu Dhabi. Today, we're going to be talking about uveitis. Uveitis is the inflammation of the middle core to the eye, the uvea. The eye, human eyeball, basically comprises of three different coats, and the uvea is the coat in the middle. The uvea itself comprises three different parts, the iris in the front, the ciliary body in the middle, and the choroid behind. Depending on which part of the uvea is infected or affected, you either have an anterior uveitis, a posterior uveitis, an intermediate uveitis, or a pan-uveitis. Uveitis occurs as a result of an immune reaction by our body to an antigen. An antigen is a substance our body considers foreign. These may be infectious agents such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, or even certain substances in our own body that are mistakenly considered foreign, such as in diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, etc. So all of these can result in uveitis. Symptoms of uveitis are highly variable, ranging from redness, pain, inability to tolerate bright light, floaters and or decreased vision. Redness associated with pain and specifically inability to tolerate bright lights is often an indicator of inflammation of the anterior part of the uvea which is the iris and the ciliary body and usually indicates that you should be consulting an ophthalmologist early because uveitis needs early detection and treatment. Uveitis may be caused by a multitude of causes, so it's important to first investigate in detail before treatment is started. Once the investigations are in place, steroids either in the form of eye drops or injections around the eye or orally are often indicated depending on which part of the uvea is affected. Detected early, uveitis can be managed well and visual loss can be prevented. And never take any of these medications prescribed for uveitis without doctor's orders. So get to an ophthalmologist early and start treatment early and only use the drugs prescribed by your ophthalmologist.